Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at SMS paints or the scale modeler supply range of German paints. Um, I'm going to be airbrushing them um, and I'm going to be discussing my initial reactions when I've airbrushed them and then we're going to talk about it uh, in a little bit more detail uh, once I've had time to think about it, look at the finished product after I've finished weathering it, putting in washes, painting all the little accessories around it. Um, so yeah, stick around. Uh, it's going to be um, an interesting video uh, and one that will hopefully make your mind up whether you want to go down the SMS paint route or not. Um, but before I start any of that, I want to say a huge thank you to Scott Taylor, who's the director over at the Scale Modeler Supply. Uh, he was kind enough to um, send me these German paints along with a, um, a paint set for a Lancaster uh, bomber, um, which I'll be reviewing later on. Uh, really appreciate that. I reached out to Scott through um, the ambassador program that they offer, and he was kind enough to send me those paints. So thank you very much. For those of you who are unfamiliar with SMS Paints, they're an Australian company, but they've got retailers globally. Okay, so they're a very big company. Um, they were formed in 2016, so relatively new to the market, um, but yeah, they're a very good website, easy to navigate and um, find what you're looking for because they've got an extensive range of all kinds of different stuff. So they've got paints, they've got weathering products, they've got tools and all kinds of accessories. Um, they primarily focus on acrylic lacquer when we're talking about their paints. So what is acrylic lacquer? Acrylic lacquer is solvent based, all right? So ignore the acrylic, let's just look at the lacquer part. It's a solvent based paint, all right? So if we're talking about acrylic as in the form of Tamiya, for example, we're talking about a water based paint. These are a solvent based paint, all right? So what does that mean? Solvent based paint means it's gonna give you a better protection. It's a tougher, tougher paint, but when you're spraying it, um, you want to make sure that you're working with uh, a lighter coat if I'm using an acrylic um, primer. So you'll see when I'm airbrushing later on that I use an acrylic primer to prime this guy and then I um, sprayed on these, uh, these lacquer based paints. All right. So the reason you want to spray lightly is because these solvent based paints can actually heat up and cause damage. So if you're coating it in lacquer uh, paint, then you're going to damage that acrylic paint. Um, also, another thing to note is you don't want to be using acrylic thinners to thin these or clean out your airbrush. You want to be using lacquer thinners. Um, and in my case, I used Mr. Hobby because I didn't have any SMS uh, thinners. Always recommend to use uh, the actual manufacturer's thinners. All right? So in this case, if you're going to go down the SMS route, make sure that you're purchasing SMS thinners as well and whatever cleaning products they've got for your airbrush. Okay, so with all that said and done, we're going to, fa we're going to move on to the actual airbrushing, which I'm sure is what you're all here for. Um, and hopefully you'll get a good understanding of my initial reaction and then I'll meet you back in this format and we can discuss how I how I found them. Okay guys, so we're going to start with German Brown, uh, RAL 8020, so this is going to be the initial base coat. Um, the instructions say to use a 0 0.30 needle. Um, I have a 0 0.305 needle. Uh, for a cheaper airbrush that I've got, so because it's going to be a base coat, I'll use that and I'll follow the instructions and use probably 15 psi um, It says 12 to 15, but I'll go with 15 for this um, It also says that it can be used straight out of the bottle Just make sure you shake it well before you do so so we'll do exactly that and we will have a look at the results uh, as they come through Oops, we've got a bit of, <laughs> bit of a spillage there. All right, so I'll be using a um, Whirlwind from Battlefront Miniatures. Uh, it's been primed with Tamiya uh, light gray primer and I've uh, got some of the panel lines that um, I've done some sort of pre-shading in black. That's Tamiya flat black.
right, so that's actually come out really nicely. It was super easy to spray as well, which was great. So that's just straight out of the bottle. Um, yeah, very impressed. It's a very uh, bright colour. So I think this is um, this would be great for this size scale model, so 15 millimeter. It's actually really bright. Um, looks of the part. Um, also be very good for Africa, um, which it probably is more intended for. Um, but in saying that, I think you could get away with Eva. It's it's a really nice um, color, especially for this scale war game. I know I've um, already said that, but um, the smaller the scale, the more uh, brightness or the the sharper the color you you want, um, especially for it to stand out on the table. So. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. It said that you um, should avoid like spraying too much on, which is the case for um, any paint. But as you saw, I it only need, really needed one coat. I'll probably go over it a touch, um, but I'll try to keep some of that darker colour in just to show some sort of worn panels and that. But yeah, um, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm really surprised. If you know my videos, I um, primarily use Tamiya and... Um, yeah, I think I found myself a new base color because for my German arm because this is yeah top notch. I'm actually really impressed with this. Okay, so that's the initial base coat down, and as you can see, uh, with that um, shading already pre-done, it's actually come out really nicely. So as I said before, very happy with this. Um, but now we've got to move on to those brown camo lines that I want to paint. And to do that, we're going to be using the German dark brown, which is RAL 8017. Um, as I said before, uh, it instructs you to use a 30, uh, sorry, 0 0.30 needle and 12 to 15 psi. So for this test, we're going to be using my 15 or 0.15. Uh, needle and I'm going to be setting it to about 12 psi so I'm going to be thinning this down all right um, so I'm going to thin it down with acrylic lacquer thinners and then I'm going to spray it so I'm probably going to be going at about a one-to-one -one ratio um, of paint to thinners and we'll hopefully get some good results um, but yeah see you in a minute Okay, so that's how it came out. It's a bit messy, um, but that was my airbrushing um, skills or their lack of. Um, but the green part will tidy this all up nicely. Uh, but yeah, it came out really nicely. I don't think I need um, to put any thinners down in all honesty. Um, I think I just use it straight out of the bottle. So um, I said it would dry quickly, but I was spraying for about 40 minutes and there was no real issue. So. We'll move on to the green. So the green that I'll be using is RAL 6003. So I'm just going to put this straight into the airbrush with my 0.15 uh, needle and then we'll see how we go.
Okay, so there we go. That's it's a bit rough around the edges, paint-wise, but um, airbrushing-wise. But yeah, the colours are fantastic. It's come out really nicely. Um, really happy with the colours. I was still not 100% sure with the ratio. We're using the 15mm um, needle uh, to thinners. I, I need to play around with that a bit more. I put some thinners in, and it was the. Uh, Brown was really good, lasted a long time, um, if not a bit too thin down. And then I didn't put any thinners in and use a 15mm uh, needle and um, it was clogging up. Um, so there was a, the odd mistake, you can sort of see it here. Uh, but nothing that won't be able to easily be hidden and um, yeah, fixed up and, and all of that. So, But generally really good. I could do super thin lines. I chose not to for these. These were quite rushed um, just because I wanted to get a better idea of what the colours would look like together with the green and the brown. But yeah, it's come out really nicely um, and yeah, really, really happy with them. So lastly, he sent me German Grace, which is RAL 7021. So we'll give that one a quick look and then we'll compare the four together and um, then we'll look at the finished um, Werber wins and get my final thoughts on the matter. Okay, so as before, I'm going to be using the settings that it recommends. So I've got it at 15 PSI and um, I'm using my 0.35 millimeter uh, needle. So, you know, it's as close as it can be to the recommended settings there. Um, and then I'm using this Yag Panther, just chassis, it's an old thing, so I'll paint one side grey. This is primed, um, this is primed with Tamiya, a surface primer light grey. Okay, so that's it. So it's probably hard to see, but um, it's come out really nicely. I'm really impressed with these colours. Um, it's, yeah, nice grey. Looks the part. It's definitely great for the scale. It's a bit lighter as well, so that's good. But yeah, quite glossy, um, which is always handy. Um, it's quite a it dries super quick, so that was like a few seconds and it's already dry. Um, and like durability wise, so bearing in mind this was only a minute ago that this was uh, airbrushed. See, it comes off easy, but that's having to use a tool to get that off. I'm pressing down quite hard there. with my nail so you know this is fresh as well so it hasn't had time to dry and it's um, you can tell that it's um, yeah got a good thickness to it where it's not going to easily chip or come apart um, so I think you'd be fine with masking tape and stuff like that if you're um, taping it up so yeah yeah awesome I think it's a good colour Okay, so that's the colours uh, sprayed out on a piece of white paper. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments uh, how you think they look um, and do you think they would be a suitable replacement for the colours that you currently use because I really like these. Okay guys, so this is how they finished up. Um, they've come out really nicely. I really enjoyed uh, using uh, SMS paints for these. Um, I've had some great feedback um, on Instagram and Facebook about um, how you think these guys have come out. I know that a few people have said that the yellow is a little bit brighter 
uh, sorry, a little bit darker, uh, could, could be a little bit brighter. Um, that all depends on your lighting as well um, and how you sort of, um, what sort of color primer you're putting down. And I actually think looking at them in person, the yellow is really bright um, and it actually looks really good. Um, I think they've come out really nicely. The green and the brown complement each other really well. Um, the, the green's not getting lost, it's not too light, um, and the, the brown isn't too dark. So yeah, really, really impressed with the colours. Alright guys, so that's going to conclude today's video. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you need answered with SMS Paints um, or if uh, I've missed something. I'll be releasing a video on the Lancaster paint set soon, so hopefully I'll be able to answer any of those questions. Um, a huge thank you goes out to Scott at SMS Paints for the opportunity to review these, these uh, German paints. I'm really, really impressed with them and um, I can't wait to get my hands on some more. I'm probably going to look at the Allied set next as well because um, I'm really interested to see uh, what colours they've got for that. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And if you're new here, feel free to drop us a subscription or, or a like. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. But I'll catch you guys at the next one. Thanks.